hosting an event next month called Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. It's designed to raise awareness about domestic violence, and it's a fun event <laughs> that sees local male celebrities and average Joes don high heels and then teeter around to track. The event gets underway Tuesday, September 14th at 11.30 a.m. at Churchill Square. The global guys are going. Gord, Kevin Carius, Shane Jones, Dwayne English, even our own boss, Global GM, Tim Spellacy. The YWCA provides the heels. How can you say no? If you want to go and join our guys, go to the website, click on links in the news for information on how to register. All you have to do is give your shoe size. Why not go? Yeah, you bet. You, and uh, you, you the get first man in. Thank all you. the back pain you can take home with you, certainly. And humiliation. Uh, the good news is smoke will be clearing out of our region, and uh, it'll be a rainy, cool, cloudy weekend, but all in all, not too bad. Down, sit down. All right, yeah. thanks, Dwayne. Uh, we're back at 6 for the news hour, but make sure you stay tuned for a very special edition of Global National. After being the face of Global National for the past decade, Kevin Newman is stepping down, and his last newscast starts right now. Global National with Kevin Newman. Hi there, thanks for joining me one last time. The Global National team has assembled a lot of memories and faces from a very busy decade, and they'll be sharing that with you and me as this broadcast unfolds. But of course, you expect the news first and foremost from us, so let's tell you what's happening on this Friday first. The smoke has cleared in much of B.C., and the forest fires are continuing, but the air is spreading through much of Canada as air quality alerts continue to spread with it. In fact, the 75,000 hectares that have burned in the last 24 hours are throwing enough smoke into the atmosphere that traces are being found as far away as New England. Here's Global's Elaine Young. With more than 270,000 hectares of land burned, this is already shaping up to be the worst forest fire season in B.C. in more than a decade. Though the weather has been cooperating over the past 24 hours, giving firefighters a much-needed break, there hasn't been any relief from that heavy, thick blanket of smoke. If the smoke is too dense, we will not fly our aircraft. They won't be able to see their targets, and they won't be able to see other things in the air. And hundreds, even thousands of kilometers away, huge plumes of smoke from B.C.'s wildfires are casting a smoky haze in the skies. In Calgary and Edmonton, you can't see beyond five kilometers. The weather forecast is calling for smoke. The poor air quality has prompted medical officials in Alberta and Saskatchewan to issue health advisories recommending people stay indoors, especially those with health problems. It's really hard actually. It makes it tough to watch your child suffering and knowing there's nothing you can do about it. So the colored contours indicate smoke being pushed downstream from the fire. There are now reports of smoke drifting into Manitoba and on satellite images the cloud stretches as far as the eastern seaboard and more than 20 years as a meteorologist David Jones has never seen it this bad. It's a combination of lots of fires, lots of smoke and a consistent wind direction all across the country from the west that's been persistent. While BC firefighters still have an uphill battle on their hands at least the rest of the country should get some relief the weather pattern is expected to change over the weekend pushing that smoke elsewhere elaine young global news vancouver coming up next on global national their baby died locked in a sweltering car you have a responsibility as a parent to take care of your small children a canadian couple faces tragedy and possible charges their cross-continent crime spree is over. The nightmare that started on July 30th is finally over. How cops finally captured the Bonnie and Clyde couple. And on my final Global National broadcast... Hi there, I'm Kevin Newman. My colleagues and I reflect on a decade we'll never forget. A Toronto family summer vacation in Texas has ended in the worst way imaginable. Their two-year-old son is dead after he was left behind in a blistering hot SUV. Here's Global's Jackson Prosco. By all accounts, it was a heartbreaking accident. Two-year-old Kwa Nguyen forgotten in an SUV under the hot Texas sun. It wasn't until shortly after 2 p.m. that the father realized that the two-year-old was not in the house with him and he found the child laying in the back seat of the vehicle. The Toronto boy and his parents were attending a family reunion. Thursday afternoon, as the vehicle was being unloaded, Kwa's seven-year-old autistic brother needed special attention. Somehow, the toddler was overlooked. This was an accident, a tragedy. The temperature outside was 37 degrees Celsius. Inside the SUV, it would have been over 50. 
The toddler managed to escape his car seat, but couldn't undo the child locks on the doors. Traumatized. This is this sad. It's this hot out here. It's, it's ridiculous. By the time his father made the horrible discovery, it was too late. A Texas grand jury will now decide if Qua's parents should face charges. The boy is the 10th child to die this way in Texas this year. As impossible as it seems to forget a child, such incidents are actually on the rise, especially in the United States. Part of the reason may be the move to have children sit in the back seat in the interests of safety. We don't have the visual reminder that there's a child in the back seat. In light of such incidents, parents are told to establish a routine that forces them to check the back of the vehicle. Something as simple as putting an important item next to the child's seat so that they don't forget what's most valuable. Jackson Prosco, Global News, Toronto. Well, after three weeks, the manhunt for two of America's most wanted fugitives is over. U.S. Marshals captured John McCluskey and his fiance at an Arizona campsite overnight. The two, who are cousins, are suspected in the deaths of an Oklahoma couple. She allegedly helped him and two other inmates escape from prison. An angry RCMP commissioner lashed out today at suggestions politics played a role in removing the head of the federal gun registry. Marty Cheliak was sent for French language training just as the issue comes up for debate in Parliament. As Shirley Engel is here to tell us, the commish is denying political interference of any kind. Shirley? Kevin, it's the first time Commissioner William Elliott has addressed allegations he booted Chief Superintendent Marty Cheliak as head of the Canadian Firearms Program for political reasons. And he is very adamant. They are absolute and positive fiction. There is not one iota of truth in that. The media and others just made this up. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. The admittedly frustrated RCMP commissioner remains defiant in the face of calls for his resignation over the transfer of the outspoken gun registry supporter who openly clashed with the Harper government over the issue. Elliott conceded there is evidence the long gun registry is useful, but says the Mounties shouldn't be the ones to decide its future. The bill to scrap the registry will be voted on this fall. Meanwhile, a preliminary report into complaints by senior RCMP brass about Elliott's management style was delivered to the government last Friday. So far, no details. But since interviews were conducted very close to Elliott's office, some Mounties are wondering how insightful it will really be. Kevin? All right, Shirley, thank you very much. Commissioner Elliott was part of a law enforcement panel warning Canadians about investment scams. New data shows they're on the rise. 26% of Canadians were approached by financial fraudsters last year. That's a 17% jump from two years earlier. And it's not just chump change. Those who fell for scams invested more than five grand. And a young Ontario woman accused of fraud is out of jail tonight. Ashley Kirillo was released on the condition that she's supervised by a non-profit group that helps people in trouble with the law. Kirillo is alleged to have faked terminal cancer and pocketed thousands in fundraising money. Well, from food to fashion, a lot of things are costing more. But there's hope for consumers after the first big legal challenge to the HST in one province gets the go-ahead. I'm Jacques Bourbeau, and as you all know by now, today we say goodbye to Kevin Newman. Now, at the risk of making myself look ancient, I'll let you in on a little secret. Kevin and I first worked together way back in 1988, back when we didn't carry cell phones and we didn't have the internet. So join us later in the newscast as we take a look back and celebrate Kevin's time with us. Mazda 2. It's Zoom Zoom Concentrated. Has your doctor told you to lower your cholesterol? If so, stop and think about how you can change your lifestyle. Could you be making smarter, healthier choices? New Basel Proactive Calorie Reduced Margarine with Plant Sterols. Plant Sterols help lower cholesterol. That's good news for you and your family. 
New Basel Proactive. Gloria, reading that millions of Canadians eat Activia, expressed surprise that so many people used it. But Marie said that plenty of people ate Activia, not for its benefit, but its great taste. So Gloria tested out this theory with Danny, who asked his wife, who talked to her cousin, who asked a policeman, who talked to his buddy on third, who quizzed his daughter, who asked her best friend. Activia, do you eat it for its great taste or its benefit? Join the debate at activia.ca. Experience even more protection with chip and pin technology on your Visa card. It has a microchip that is virtually impossible to duplicate and a pin instead of a signature for added protection. More people go with Visa. And welcome back. A judge has ruled a petition against the HST in B.C. is valid, which means that its legislature will either vote on a bill to quash the blended tax or allow a provincial referendum on it. Might not be related, but could be. Canada's inflation rate jumped to 1.8% last month. The biggest jump in the cost of living was in Ontario at almost 3%. B.C. didn't feel the effect as much with a 2% rise in costs. Peter Harris is digging into the numbers a little deeper. Costs are up even at this favorite chip truck. What do you think is pushing the prices up? Um, I don't know, all sorts of things, transportation costs. You're seeing it everywhere. Oh yeah. Harmonized sales taxes in BC, Ontario and Nova Scotia are pushing up prices. In Ontario, eating out went up nearly 3%. How much did you pay for that? Uh, today it cost me $10. Pushing this hot dog lunch up 30 cents last month. In BC, this same meal would cost 75 cents more. Only pennies, but it's adding up. So where are Canadians feeling this pinch? Start at home. The cost of keeping those lights on went up 9.8%. But in BC, they really felt this shock with costs jumping almost 37%. Keeping that car in the driveway takes more cash, with pump prices jumping nearly 5% and insurance costs going up even more. Moving his family into a new home, means Toby Kiesa Walter's bills are piling up. For the first time, I'm, I'm embarrassed to say I'm, I'm, I'm really having to focus on budgeting a little bit. His bottom line includes $200 in HST for movers, who are also feeling the pinch. With smaller moves, though, I have noticed a big drop in, uh, in small moves and moves for students and seniors. But all of this was supposed to be worse. In fact, this modest bump could delay interest rate hikes this fall. But all in all, it gives us a lot of latitude to sort of proceed on a nice smooth path back to a more normal state, say over the next 18 months. Now, of all the indicators they used to track inflation, the only thing that went down was the cost of shoes and clothing. But of course, Kevin, that won't help you very much now that you don't have to wear a suit every day. Kevin? Now I plan to be in bare feet for months. Thanks very much, Peter. Appreciate it. Those inflation numbers had an immediate impact on the loonie, dropping nearly a cent in value. The TSX nudged up slightly. The Dow Jones slipped by 57 points. Honor to practice the craft with you at Global and to watch you lead Global National to virtual preeminence. Hey, Kevin, what's going on to go in retirement at 51? You know, I'm 76 and I'm coming every morning to my office here. No, you know, I wish you the best of luck. Kevin, you have been a, a staunch supporter and broadcaster when it came to the Canadian forces and the causes that matter to them and to all Canadians. And we thank you. You'll be missed. Really wish you uh, good luck in your next endeavors. I'd love to give you uh, some words of inspiration, maybe a boost, but as you can tell, uh, hands are kind of full right now. Yeah, yeah, good luck, Kevin. Guys, come on. The selfish part of me would like you to stay on forever because we love you so much. Kevin, thanks for your professionalism, your integrity, and your fairness. And now you're free. Have fun. You brought that different angle from everybody else on virtually every story. It was always a human angle. Thank you for seeing the importance of our everyday heroes. You make us feel good about what we do. Congratulations, Kevin. Good luck, my friend. Oh, my goodness. That's fantastic. Back after this.
Good afternoon. Ahead at six, after being found guilty of the deaths of more than 1,500 ducks, Sing Crude is now asking for a creative sentence. Plus, dress delays, more unhappy brides are coming forward with concerns. You just realized it's no longer only about you. You are the only thing that will slip in these conditions. And you, you look good. Now, buy or lease a 2010 Nissan Rogue and you get no charge all-wheel drive. Plus, save 20 cents per liter for one year and with 0% financing. It's why Nissan is perfect for you. Goodbye, health rut. There are a gazillion ways to enjoy healthy living. That's why at Kashi, we make 10 tasty cereals with our own blend of seven whole grains. From crunchy clusters to sweet puffs to flakes with granola. We believe you can live healthy. Pretty much any kind of way that makes you happy. Kashi, seven whole grains on a mission. Does your smooth pass the second day test? Or does Frizz make you start all over? Get ready for a revolution. New customized Pantene Frizzy to Smooth System. Medium to thick hair absorbs up to 40% more moisture. So we customized a Pro-V system that in test outlasts the Frizz point. The results? Smooth stays into the second day. Frizzy to Smooth from Pantene. Put it to the test. The Pantene reinvention is here. Introducing new custom solutions by Pantene with options for your unique hair structure. Thick, fine, curly, or color to make the hair you love last and last. Put it to the test. Find your Pantene. Fact. Soap pumps can harbor hundreds of bacteria. The new Lysol no-touch hand soap system senses hands and dispenses soap with Lysol's germ-killing power. The Lysol no-touch hand soap system. Never touch a germy soap pump again. Gloria, reading that millions of Canadians eat Activia, expressed surprise that so many people used it. But Marie said that plenty of people ate Activia, not for its benefit, but its great taste. So Gloria tested out this theory with Danny, who asked his wife, who talked to her cousin, who asked a policeman, who talked to his buddy on third, who quizzed his daughter, who asked her best friend. Activia, do you eat it for its great taste or its benefit? Join the debate at activia.ca. I first met uh, Kevin Newman, who was with Avis Favreau. They were a pair of young journalists at the University of Western Ontario. They interviewed me, and they did me in. They really beat me up. And I thought afterwards that, by golly, if either of them, particularly Kevin, wanted a job, I'd be glad to endorse him at Global News. I was impressed by Kevin then, and I've been impressed by him ever since. Kevin, I've always envied you because you've been able to go home earlier in the evening than any other national news anchor. And as you leave the chair for the last time, you can know that your talent and professionalism have elevated the TV news landscape in this country. Good luck, my friend. You've made an outstanding contribution to journalism in this country and television at CTV, at CBC, and, well, for the last decade, for Global. In the grand traditions of the Peter Trumans and the Peter Kents, you will be missed. Stay in touch. Kevin, I remember one time I was in Canada trying to make a connection with you, and I called Global, and I asked for Kevin Newman. And she said, the young woman who answered the phone, oh, you can't talk to him. He's such a big star. And I love that. I have some experience in leaving television news at what we like to think is the top of our game. And I can tell you that the years ahead for you are going to be terrific as they are proving to be for me. You are on a voyage of discovery, self-discovery and otherwise. And I wish you well. I applaud you for what you're doing. I'm excited to hear what you're doing. And I hope my path will cross the path of that big star sometime soon again. Wow, I have been uh, mentored by some very great people, and you just uh, saw uh, great numbers of them. 
Well, our very first broadcast, we talked about heading back to school and work after a nice summer. Well, this is the 3,173rd edition of Global National. And everyone on our team is thinking exactly the same thing, except for me. Global National with Kevin Newman. What are we seeing here? Perhaps the Let's, second tower. The, front the second tower, tower looks like it is collapsing. Is collapsing. You are watching this picture live from New York City. The second tower has just collapsed of the World Trade Center. The rest of the palace is being taken out. All right, we have just seen uh, by far the single most significant attack on Baghdad. This does appear to be the beginning, uh, as you have heard, of the shock and awe campaign. Mm -hmm. All of them saying that the the Canadian military needs at least an investment in equipment of a billion dollars over the next five years. Why are you ignoring all the advice you're getting? No, we're not ignoring it. How are Canadians to judge your battle readiness in a leadership contest that really was no contest? Well, first of all, this was a contest. So to be clear, you support a woman's right to choose? Um, you know, I always said my own views on the abortion issue are complex. I don't fall in any any one of the neat polar extremes on this issue. Um, but I uh, explain them then I if they're complex. Well, I'm, I don't need to because I'm not proceeding with an abortion agenda. Well, this is kind of the wild west of Afghanistan. The northeastern border of Pakistan is only a couple of kilometers from here. From this point forward and out, Canadian troops are literally living out in the open. There are no tents, no shelter and certainly no chance of a Thanksgiving meal. So far from home and so disconnected from Thanksgiving, we thought any token of Canada might be appreciated. So we carried with us a few Canadian candies and the thing they really crave, something to read from home. The Canadian edition of Maxim. My family and I lived across the Hudson River in New Jersey in a small bedroom community called Summit. 33 people from around that town perished, and there are towns like it everywhere here. Only this one, I know. These were my neighbors. Good people. Fortunate people. The body of the man born Karl Wojtyla in Poland was carried to the crypts of the Popes below the basilica. Kamran Nazir was a young campus leader for Budo's party, proudly riding in the car with her. This boy, filled with hope for true democracy, now finds it too painful to speak. His flesh melted and burned by the blast. It gets raw again every time, doesn't it? Every time I lose another soldier, it feels like I've lost my son one more time. For the first time, a black man has been president, and we are so honored. It's unbelievable. Democrats joining Republicans, Americans of every race and color reveling in a rebirth. Do you feel more connected as an American now? I feel connected. Togetherness, yeah. diversity, togetherness, unity. He uh, smiled that uh, incredible smile that he has, and he is now the president of the United States of America. And let me tell you, the feeling in this city is uh, beyond description. Oh, guess what? I think Team Canada just scored. Team Canada has defeated Team USA to win the gold medal in hockey. Sidney Crosby scoring the winning goal as this city, this country erupts. The kids are sitting on the dirt right now and with a stick or with their finger, that's where they're doing all their arithmetic. So now they're going to have chairs. You got some chalkboards in here, too. He does it all by himself. And as I found out, it's not easy on your own. Thank you. There we go. A place nestled where the coastal mountain range intersects with the cascade range of the mountain. But let me try that again. It's unbelievable. The guy has more. Anyway, it's Remind Mum to watch at 5.30, okay? I'm Kevin Newman. Thank you for sharing your time with us. Well, some fun final thoughts for me. 
to you next. Good afternoon. Air quality in our city remains a concern. Smoke from D.C. forest fires continues to hover over our province. Next at 6, we take a look at the toll these hazardous conditions are taking on Edmontonians. Plus, students of a local driving school are happy to learn their training hasn't hit a dead end after all. We'll explain. And it's not just about the guns and drugs as technology evolves, so does organized crime. Find out about the newest challenges facing police. Stay tuned for the news hour. driver to the all-new 2011 Mazda 2. It zooms in concentrated. This area here used to be a mine. The distant hills is now been reclaimed to a forest. It's pretty important to us people here about the good work that we're doing. Back about three decades ago, it was all about trees. Now we've gone from four or five types of trees, but also adding different types of shrubs and other types of plants. Oh, well, there's two squirrels chasing each other for a cone over here. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, it's pretty exciting that they're returning. We want to leave restored land that people are proud to see for generations after that. If you're using bleach to clean your toilet, you're not covering the whole bowl. With this stain-revealing dye, you can see the stains bleach leaves behind. But Lysol Power Toilet Bowl Cleaner gives you a complete clean, coating the full bowl from the rim down to the waterline for maximum coverage, removing the toughest stains better than bleach while killing 99.9% .9 of bacteria. Lysol. Disinfect to protect. Try Lysol Continuous Action Toilet Bowl Cleaner. Freshens and kills 99.9% .9 of germs with every flush. Next week on ET Canada, we have Brett Michaels, Pink, Adrian Grenier, and Adriana Lima. Next week on ET Canada. Closed captioning of this program is brought to you by Gaviscon. Doctors recommend Gaviscon for fast relief of painful acid reflux. Gaviscon, and it's gone. So, here we are. About a decade ago, when I came back home from the States to start building Global National, I spent two weeks alone driving Canada, stopping at all the in-between places to listen and learn what sensible, everyday Canadians were thinking. I knew I needed to reconnect. At one point on that drive, I thought to myself, you know, I better think about how I want to sign off. It seems to be something that new anchors need to figure out. Well, a polite thank you seemed right. Canadians are well-mannered. I wanted to share the news with you, not broadcast it at you. And I knew that you were pretty busy at the dinner hour, so sharing your time seemed appropriate. And sharing it with us was important because I wanted you to appreciate that the real strength of our newscast has been our small and incredibly dedicated team of storytellers. And it turns out it's a good thing I took the time then to think things through because the past 10 years have been so busy. We just reminded you of some of it. Two wars, suicide attacks, a financial crash, a devastating tsunami, earthquakes, so much misery and destruction. But of course, there's also been joy. Hugging those young African Americans on Obama's election night, being inspired by everyday heroes, sharing hockey with our troops, singing O Canada with a full heart alongside joyous Canadians at the Olympics. And so many uplifting revolutions as well in politics, in communications, and science. That you've been willing to listen to my stories is the greatest gift of my professional life. They haven't always been as thorough as I'd like, but I want you to know that I always approach them with empathy, honesty, and a strong sense of what my ethical duty is to you. I have respected your trust and never taken it lightly. I have no idea if this is the last you'll see of me. I hope not. I have many more stories to tell, and I'm filled with ideas and excitement about my future. But in case it is, I hope you'll understand if I thank my family, who has made it possible for me to feed my curiosity all these years. My parents and sisters, who watched and worried about me. My children, Alex and Erica, who shared their father with a demanding profession. In spite of my absences, they grew to be loving, independent, and accomplished adults. And that's mostly because of my wife, Kathy. She has shouldered so much family responsibility and time alone and has been 
by my side for every career high and low. I haven't been very good at showing up for things on time in this job, but now, love, you can count on me. Thank you to Global for the opportunity to be part of something new and worthy. Thank you to my brothers and sisters at Global National. I hope we're always friends. But most of all, thank you for sharing your time with me. It is Friday, August 20th. You're looking at a very smoggy, hazy, smoky shot of Telus Field from our Global One News helicopter. The umpire who was the target of a homophobic tirade from the former manager of the Edmonton Capitals is in our city tonight. You'll hear from him next on the News Hour. Thank <laughs> you.